Hello everybody, today I'd like to share with you um, how to make this card that I made for last month's challenge which was um, Midnight Magic. So to start with, I'm starting with a piece of A5 multifarious card and I'm going to use a variety of blue inks. So the first one I'm going to use is Salty Ocean. I'll put a little bit of paper down there, a piece of paper for my card. I'm going to leave this bottom area here white at the moment. So I'm just going to come in on the edges. I'm just going to come around from the edge. I'm going to go around leaving that area there white. I'm going to come in just a little bit more, leaving a sort of misty area there. And I'm going to colour the rest of card blue. The colour I'm using first is Salty Ocean. takes quite a while to get the card it's quite dark blue so it may not be as dark as the other one I'll just keep going until I'm happy with the colour that I've arrived at. I'm going to change now to the next shade of blue which is faded jeans. Once again, I'm leaving this area down here white. I'm just going to come in from the side to get a little bit of darker colour on both sides. from the side drag all that colour in with you This colour all does soak into the card, especially overnight. And change to the next colour, which is chipped sapphire. I like to use the different coloured blues because they all seem to blend into each other but you can sometimes you can see the different colours in different lights. It might be just me but I'm 
remembering to just do a little bit down the bottom as well. <coughs> I think I've done that side. Well, I hope you enjoyed the beautiful summer weather we had last week. It's been a first week of the summer holidays. The first day of the summer holidays today. So I'm um, to try and do a few video tutorials for you. I hope you enjoy them. And the last colour I'm going to use, oh, the last distress ink I'm going to use is blue print, blue print sketch. A little bit of a mouthful that one, I think. I get some of this darker blue onto here. Starting to go a bit darker now. Still leave some light areas where the lights reflect in the night sky. little distress inks work quite well but I think what I need to do is invest in some bigger ones for home and just use the little ones for when I go to workshops and things like that join in with all them lovely crafters at workshops hopefully we'll all be able to get back to the shows and everything pretty soon just need to get 2021 out of the way and hopefully fingers crossed we can all have a better 2022 going to use Memento Paris Dusk to try and get a deeper blue colour. I'll do the top area first. I'll just use the same brush, just one brush for my blue colours, my pinks. been using these brushes now for oh, nearly two years. Now I have a problem with my wrist and they do make it a lot easier. part here because I just don't want such a big halo of light around the, that area. Let's come down just a little bit more on the centerpiece. perfect for me. I don't know why that's happened. I think it must be something in the ink. I must have picked up something or it could be something in the paper. I'm not quite sure. <clears throat> right, I'm now going to go to Worn Lipstick. 
and I have my pink brush. It's pink, my pink sign's wearing out. I need to redo it. And I'm now going to use one of these sticky grid sheets from Tim Holtz. Because every time I try and do this part here, when I use the low tack tape, it still my card still seems to move. So now I use one of these. Is it gonna stick? Maybe not. So stick. Aha. And I'm going to use the Lavinia acetate circle masks so for this first one I'm going to use here I'm going to make sure it's sort of central-ish looking at the edges here it's quite good I think and get my pink Worn lipstick distress ink on my brush, and I'm just going to use in circular moments movements again. I'm going to fill this circle area with pink distress ink. I want it to be quite bright. Get a little bit of a purple haze around the edge as well from where the blue has come in. But I quite like that. It looks quite nice. To take my mask away. Now I'm going to use the other part of the circular mask and just try and get a fraction over the circle I've just done. And I'm going to gently blend out the colour to give like a halo effect. leave a little halo around my moon and then I'll just gently blend it in a little bit I will be going around that part with a gold pen as well Now it's time for the stamping. And the stamp that I'm going to use first is the fairy fir tree. So I'm going to pick up and remove my. Just put that there for now. And I'm using my stamp perfect stamp press. My card needs to go outside. And I'll put my piece of paper underneath there so I don't get ink on my and the first stamp. Now this stamp is very well loved, very well used. I think I might have to treat myself to a new one soon. And 
I have my piece of acetate that I usually use. Okay, so I'm going to put my first tree down. About there. I want them to look like they're dancing in the sky above the trees. Press my stamp into... Ooh, I can't move. So let's make sure it's in the right place. And on the edge of the card. So ink up my stamp Let me rub it. Ink up my stamp Too busy looking in the camera Make sure it was in line Sorry about that And stamp my first tree just love these trees. Fairy fir tree it's called. There we go. That's my first one. And then I'll get my piece of acetate. Cut my stamp. Looking at what I'm doing this time. And stamp tree number two. fingers if you're not careful I'm coming down a little bit more with my tree and pick up the stamp again remove the acetate Again, ink up my tree, just gently tapping my VersaFine. This is a new ink pad. I bought this especially for a tr treat I went on a few weeks ago. I had such a good time. Beautiful stamps. The Vinya stamps always stamp so beautifully. They really, really do. And once again, we're in. Oh, did we? Just 
gently coming down again. Pick up my stamp. Remove the acetone. And cut my stamp. Press down gently. And just keep repeating the process until you get to the end. And cut again, gently patting. Moving the trees back up again now. I do love Lavinia stamps. They are, I mean, there's lots of stamp companies out there. I use a lot of stamps, but they really are pleasure to work with you can do so much with them this is my third video I've made never in a million years thought I would ever make a video for crafting but I really am enjoying it maybe something I can do a bit more of in my retirement eh fun right last tree one two three four five six seven oh i do like an odd number for nature move that acetate for the last time put that in its home and cut my stamp to highlight the trees in a little while with um, gold clean my stamp now I just wipe it with a wet wipe and water I've got into the habit now my stamps of reusing my wet wipes and just washing them in the wash machine so they're not I'm not using as many as I used to that's that part of the stamping done and the next thing we're going to stamp now is our fairies and the first fairy we're going to stamp is Layla Oh, that's not Layla. Let me look. Oh, Layla. So I don't want her 
her to look like she's got a tree coming out of her foot. So I'll put Layla about there. And then not sure I can fit in Rin. Maybe I could put her up a bit higher. Yes, that'd be nice. That right. Pick up my stamp. And once again, using VersaFine, I'm to gently, just gently tap. Make sure I've got every part of Layla covered. A work colleague called Layla. Maybe I could do her this cart, this stamp for her birthday. Just let the ink soak in from the fairies. The trees always work quite well. Sometimes with the fairies. Perfect, 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 perfect. Now we're going to line up Rin. This fair is called Rin. So they're dancing in the midnight sky just looking at their hands make sure she's not touching the trees I don't want her to look like she's part of a tree now ink up rain Gently tapping, make sure the whole fairy is covered. You see that she's all covered and press down. Once again, I'm going to leave it there for a little bit longer, pressing all them areas. There we go. Just gonna move my magnets a moment. prefer to stamp the leaves and the maple leaf is what I'm going to use I'm going to use a maple leaf on my round acrylic block And once again, using the VersaFine ink, you get, I find you get good coverage with VersaFine ink. Let's just check. 
see if this is okay. Perfect. And I'm just having the maple leaves coming in from the top. I use the back of my um, press when I'm stamping on acrylic block with a piece of paper because it's got a really nice foam back and I love stamping on foam. I never used to be able to stamp at all and then I discovered foam pads and now I have no problem whatsoever stamping. stamp just there like that press down nice and firmly This will be, well, I think I'll do one more after this one, just a little one down a bit further. Just even it up with that side. There we go. And there we have all our stamping done. So now it is just the finishing touches. For the finishing touches, I'm going to be using a Sakura Jelly Roll pen. This one is gold. It says number 703 on it. It's definitely gold. So I'm going to go around the moon or the sun at sunset, no, one or the other, just like that, I'm not going over the trees, and then I'm just going to gently Tap all over the tree in sort of rough areas to make them look like they're sparkling in the moonlight. As you can see, the um, ink is soaking into the card already and uh, making it look a bit darker. Can't manage to get an odd number of trees, which always makes me happy because we know Mother Nature likes to work in odd numbers. Just gently tapping my pen on the trees, just trying to give it some highlights. Be careful on that skinny bit because I don't want any to go onto the blue sky yet. It 
it's such a shame that you can never see the effect of all these glittery bits when it's on a photo on Facebook or any other social media because they really do sparkle these cards I don't know if you can see how much that is sparkling. Just that little pen. I'll turn it around the other way. Now I'm going to go over my leaves. Mm, they're still wet. This is okay in the camera. I'm not getting in your way too much. follow the lines this one I think I put a bit too much ink on we've got most of the light coming from underneath always highlight the fairies as well Following along the line. Trying to do so you can see. I can't watch the camera and there we go. And just do her hair. I do try to like to follow. line work that Tracy's hand drawn they're such beautiful images these fairies they really are just gives them a little bit of highlight in the hair makes it look like the moonlight is bouncing off them because they're so magical follow around these fairy wings again
carefully follow the line of her oops carefully follow the line of her body so that she twinkles in the light And there we go. And as you can see, when you put it in the light, oh, you can see it twinkling. And the last job before we mount it up is to just take our two stamps that I did clean so I can use them again. And just place them over oops the fairies and just putting it over the bottom there as I don't really want it to go on the moon white acrylic paint marker give it a good old shake Gently tapping. But I didn't want it on my fairies. And there we go. That's it. That's it done. Hope you enjoyed my video. And that's my finished one now. And this is the original one that's been mounted up. Put that over there and there we go have a lovely evening and i'll see you all soon thank you for watching bye